DeRozan back out, and here is the Johnson. Oh, boy. And it goes in. Oh, <laughs> man down. Gioza, cross, <laughs> handles, okay. highlight. Okay. And stayed off that rim. He was oh, no. tipped it oh, hey, 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 Head. Pulls up three pointer. Bang! Bang! It's good! Wins the game at the buzzer! Hey, what's good with y'all boys, man? As you read in the video, man, we're gonna be going over my demigod point four build, man. My demigod point god build, bro. I don't even call it a point four no more. I call it a point god build, bro. Because that's what it, it literally is, bro. It's a point god, bro. Like the point four bill, but let's first let's just acknowledge how OG, how much of an OG the point four bill is. Man. Like the point four bill has been in the game since 2K11. A lot of y'all didn't know that, bro. The point four bill has been in the game since 2K11, and since then it's always been one of the more um, well-rounded, versatile builds, man. Like it can play solid defense, it can dunk. It can finish at the rim like a slasher. If you make him uh, right, you can uh, dribble like a point guard and then the shooting, bro. Like a lot of people, when I when I hop on this build, they try to let me shoot. You know what I'm saying? They they sag off and it's like, okay, I'm gonna just let him shoot. I'm gonna let him shoot. But it's like, no, you can't even sag off of this build, bro. Like usually when you play certain builds, there's a certain way you guard them. You know what I'm saying? Like with a slasher, if you want to guard a slasher, you just sag off. Give him the give him the shot. You know what I'm saying? If you guarding like a shark, you press him at all times. You know what I'm saying? But with a point four, you can't really press him because he's gonna blow past you. And then if you give him enough space, he has enough of a good shot to knock down the three pointer, as you can see. And you sure as hell can't give him a mid range, because my point four, I have an 80 mid range. So you sure as hell can't give me that because that's going to be cash every time. You know what I'm saying? And then like I said, bro, the finishing. Like, y'all see this right here, man. I don't see a lot of point fours using this dunk package because a lot of times people don't upgrade their standing dunks on, uh, on their point fours. They just put up the driving dunk and then they leave the layups alone. Or they might just put up the layups, which is just weird to me. Um, but yeah, man, um, the dunk package I'm using in this video is the Ben Simmons dunk package. I'm going to show you uh, the stats that you need to unlock that in a, a quick second. But yeah, man, when you go into making your point four, bro, I see a lot of people make point fours on this game. Um, they put up the driving dunk and just cook, and just keep it like that. Like, they don't put up no close shot, no driving layup, no standing dunk. And that's just weird to me. I don't... If you don't put up your standing dunk, that's that's cool. But not putting up your driving uh, layup and just putting on the dunks, like that's just hella weird to me. Because you might need to take a contested layup, or you might get contested at the rim. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, that contest at the rim could be the different difference between you winning a game or not. Plus, it's like, bro, you're on a six-seven build, bro. You're on a six-seven build with like maxed out arms, most likely. Like, why would you not? put driving layup on a point four. I never understood that. But this is my uh, loadout right here, man. The reason why I put my standing dunks up is because of the Ben Simmons dunk package. You need a 65 standing dunk to unlock it. Now, at the time, I was thinking about Ben Simmons and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Because um, with his, you need a 75 standing dunk and a 75 driving dunk to unlock the Giannis dunk package. Um, but after trying uh, the Giannis dunk package out, I'm not really too big on it. It's slow. I don't get blocked with it, but you know, it's it's off two feet. And y'all know two foot dunks. Dunks that come off two feet, they're they're a little slower than the uh, dunks that come off one foot. So I'm not really big on it. I still have it equipped, but if I was you, I'd just get my standing dunk high enough to where I can get a 65 driving dunk so you can get the Ben Simmons dunk package. The Ben Simmons dunk package is pretty much like a poor man's one arm tomahawk and y'all know how op the one arm tomahawk is in this game it's damn near unblockable so if you, if 
you want to be on that type of time and you want to be on that type of team and shit just put on the ben simmons dunk package now i'm using the uh the metric system right now but pretty much all this shit just adds up to uh six six foot seven and i'm a i'm 192 and if you make it right it's gonna come out as a point four this is how all my shit look at 99 had an 88 close shot, 84 driving layup. Y'all see the 75 uh, driving dunk and the 76 standing dunk, which is hella OP. You know what I'm saying? I highly recommend putting your standing dunk, standing dunk up, man. That way you don't get those slow standing layups. I can't stand that shit. <laughs> but look, man, I got an 80 mid range, 74 three point shot. Bro, you can't leave this build open, bro. You just can't. 96 pass accuracy, 88 ball control. Like, I'm all around everywhere. Even on defense. My defense is damn near a 80. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My boys, bro, I'm like a glass player. I get boys for days. So, man, this build is for people like me, man. Like, if you one of those people that hop on the game and you play with a lot of randoms, this build is perfect for that because you don't got to depend on nobody for shit. If somebody's on the team not shooting consistently, you can take all the shots. If somebody on the team is not getting boards like they're supposed to do, you can step up and get boards for the team. You can facilitate. You can finish. Like, bro, you can pick up. You can pick up the slack anywhere on on the uh, on the team when you have this build, bro. You literally six seven. You can guard all positions. And then if you take this shit on to the tools, and you a competent ISO dribbler, bro, like nobody can really stop you like nobody can really stop you like i play tools with my uh with my brother rio my brother rio he has a stretch big so pretty much if we get the ball like you, most of the time it's a play shot guarding me you know what i'm saying it's a play shot guarding me play shot don't have a chance for just a build like this like i can just go to the rim every time and just mash all game. I can just rim run all game. There's, there's not shit he can really do. And then, just to be funny, just to troll, I'll just fuck around and take a shot so he can um, step up. And then I'll have lane for the rest of the game after that. You know what I'm saying? This build is just one of those builds that's like, that's a headache to guard, bro. It's a headache to guard, man. If you got a play shot on you, you, you gonna eat, bro. And then, even if you switch, my brother. Rio, his stretch got post scoring in it, so he's just gonna post up the little guard. So we just gonna bully the little guard the whole time. So yeah, man, this build is an A1 build. You should definitely make it. Man. You should definitely make this build. Man. This is one of the best ISO builds in the game. But yeah, man, these are all my sigs. And uh, if you if you made it this far into the video, thank you, man. Go ahead, leave a like if you're new, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video, man. I love